Hi there, welcome back. My name is Mark and welcome to the map. Wow, well, welcome to the Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, still pretty cold outside, but I decided to do a little shake off. And yes, you know, I realized that the engines start running better and better and better. She feels good. So she's smoking. No, not yet, not yet. But there was a lot of oil again on the, the car. So probably she will smoke very soon. But who cares? I put a GoPro camera on the engine just to see what happens. Uh, now we have the chance, but next week we have the grill back on. Now we can't see the engine anymore. So I decided, well, why not? Last day, oh, the sun is shining. No, no sun, it's evening. But I figured, let's do this. So now, uh, you know what? Let's get back to the garage, the man cave. And we have to put something very special on the car. Well guys, back in the garage and the good news is no smoke, I didn't smell any burnt rubber, it was like so much better than the first two runs. That basically means that the first one was shitty, the second one was a little bit better and the third one, <sighs> I'm starting to fall in love again with the driving. And I immediately noticed, I immediately noticed that uh, when I got out of the Ferrari and wanted to set the Ford back, I didn't know how to drive the Ford. So it's just a matter of getting used again. High uh, revving, higher, uh, no, no, you know what I mean. Uh, the only difference is, I guess I'm a little bit spoiled when it comes to speed or something, because it feels a little bit slow. And it doesn't matter because the 308 is a driving car, not a race car. It is sort of a race car, but it's not the fastest car out there. She only has 200 and plus, uh, 240 or, or horsepower. Mine, the original version had 210, mine has 240. Maybe some things has changed. Now Gus have worked on the engine. Maybe she's got a little bit less power right now. But the engine runs good and she shifts perfect. Perfect, and I'm so happy with that's the most important part. It does. It is not about speed. It's about driving experience. And yes, the alignment when you go a little bit faster, you really notice that she's still shaky. And I don't know how the camera footage turned out. You've probably already seen it. But man, we have to work on that. But that's okay. Uh, I'm falling in love again. My little girl. That's the funniest part. Five years, five years old, she loved it. <laughs> I was like, ah, do you want to go another round? Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, it's working. Now we have to work on the older one. She doesn't like the Ferrari as much, but maybe she's now older, maybe this will change. So, I'm happy, I feel good, and I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go inside, have some food, and later on, we're gonna put the Mr. 308 sticker on the car. Because this car needs a 308, Mr. 308 sticker. If you like it, if you like it or not, I don't care. That's my signature. It has to be on the car. But I haven't figured out yet where to put it. So we're gonna take a closer look after dinner. So okay guys, this is what I was talking about. The same stickers that are on the Ford, but of course they are once made for this one. Uh, for the 308, so we're gonna find a place. Now I was just thinking, the oil. I wasn't leaking, I said, I was leaking, but I hadn't, didn't have any smoke or something. So I was kinda happy, and then I thought during dinner, well, maybe it's because uh, there is no oil, oil in the car. But lucky for me, I just checked, there's a big puddle of oil underneath the car. That's not the case. It's just not smoking anymore. So I think it is the bottom uh, plate. Uh, that the, you know what, the oil pan, the undercarriage that is leaking. So. Um, yeah, no, the big question, oh, uh, b by the way, um, last video we made a piece of car uh, cardboard for the rear. I left it there, next day I walked in, I watched, the f I've looked at the pictures and I decided I'm gonna fabricate that piece. Don't know how yet, maybe my brother-in-law can help me with it. 
Yeah. And so we're gonna do that. Um, meanwhile, stickers. Where do you want the stickers? Where do I don't want the stickers? <sighs> Are, do we need to remove this? That's the first question. Do we need to remove the Ferrari Club of the Netherlands stickers? I quit because it was way too expensive. Uh, 160 euros last year and you get four magazines a year. I can't count. <laughs> you get four magazines a year and well, to be honest, that was all I'm using because the events were just not my events. The, the, the ones I've been to are way too fancy, way too expensive. It's just not for me. And for one event a year, I don't know. And it's only a 308. So that's 160 euros in the pocket to make a plate on the back. First thing I was thinking like this, but this is hot, very hot. Then I was thinking like, but this is small, too small. Um, the stick is over there. I don't, I don't really think there's a good spot. Do you? It's like everything I do, every spot is like the wrong spot. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just gonna remove these first. Come on. The texture of the uh, sticker is still on the windshield. I can't remove it. But I think it's impossible to film that. But again, back to the back to the lecture at hand. You see perfection is expected. I was thinking like, what do you think of this? Or do we just... No way, OJ. No, I think the rear window, just try it. And if it melts, it melts. And if it doesn't melt, it doesn't melt. Agreed? Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit off, yes, I know, but ah, it's good enough for now. Yeah, the Instagram logo is a little bit off. Hmm. Now we need another logo. <laughs> Problem solved. Let's put a, I don't know, most views I get from Facebook, maybe you put a Facebook for logo. <laughs> oh, I'm so, that's a moron. Uh, what do you think? Mr. 308 
at least there's a logo on the car. And well, I'm gonna tell you a little secret right now. What I was thinking about, or what I someday wanna do, maybe sooner than you think. But like I said, my intention for this car is not to just sit here and take a look at her. I want to drive her. I want to do really dumb things. And, and uh, with dumb things, I mean uh, things like the Scotland rally would be. I saw an ad for an Italian rally, also very cool. Mainly on road, but sometimes a little bit off road could be, why not? I don't care, if, if it damaged, we're gonna repair it again. Drive, brake, uh, no, build, drive, brake, repair. Do it again, yeah. So that's my ambition. Of course, money is an issue, but at least we've got some parts solved. We got the car. And that means that when you do that, it could be cool, could be handy to give the car a special library. I was thinking about putting the white rounds on the front and the sides with number 38308, but without the O, um, like a li racing li livery, and then maybe, yeah, yeah, make it a little bit more racy, I don't know. Don't hate me, please don't. But I was just, maybe it's just a dream. Maybe someday I can get a three-way GTB or something with her. That could be also cool. Uh, and then build a Michelotto uh, sort of race car. That will be cool. Oh, wow. You know what? This is a shorter video because I think you're getting bored with the build videos. Well, there are a few still coming. Yeah, I can't help it. It's just something we have to do. Thank you for watching. See you again next time and a goodbye.